Hi everybody, I'm Kendra Davey from Pima County Public Library and I'm here at Joel D. Valdez Main Library in the children's section and I'm excited to share an activity that you can do at home that can help get um, your kids ready for school or ready to return to school when school opens back up. So this is a really simple sorting activity um, that little children can do and older kids too because it can get more complicated um, as they get a little bit older. But one of the things that sorting helps us do is think about the world around us. So what are things that are same? What are things that's different? What makes things the same? What makes them different? That's the sort of thinking that scientists do when they try to understand the world too. And it helps us with our critical thinking. And that's the type of thing that we're gonna use to understand anything that we're um, learning about. So this is a really easy activity and we're gonna use some super colorful pom-poms because I have a bunch, but you could use anything at home. You can also use a piece of paper or you could just use the floor. So I'm going to draw three circles on my piece of paper like that, put it on the floor, and I'm gonna take these pom-poms and I'm gonna sort them into some different categories. So I think in this circle, I'm gonna put some pom-poms here, and in this one, I'm gonna put some pom-poms here, and then I'm gonna put some pom-poms here. Now when you're working with your kids, they can sort it any way they want. It's not so much about what they sort it, it's why they sorted it. So, Caitlin might say, hey Kendra, why did you choose these categories? Caitlin's sitting right here. And I would say, well Caitlin, it's because these are all big, and so I put all the big ones here. These ones are all sparkly pokey, and I put those here, and these are little teeny tiny ones, and I put them here. And then a good question would be, can you sort them in a different way? And? I think I can. I could put all the orange ones in this circle. I could put all the blue ones in this circle and all the red ones in this circle. And in this over here, I have ones that don't fit into any of these categories. So that's an easy way to think about what's the same, what's different. So the same about this is the color. And before it was the shape. So there's no right or wrong answer. It's just how you think about that um, category. You could do this at home if you have pom-poms or you could use maybe socks or you could use silverware or you could use toys. I could sort these puppets into puppets that have white on them. And that's one category and puppets that have blue on them. That's another one. Or I could put puppets that have wings. Oh, this one has wings too. And puppets that don't. So this is a great way to practice our critical thinking skills. And when you talk about it with your child, ask them why. And don't let them just say because. Have them explain what they were thinking and that's gonna help them practice their communication their critical thinking and understanding the world around them, and that's gonna keep their brain active and ready to go to school. Have fun learning at home. Bye.